Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys an update to my Morphtronic Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for March 2018. Um, actually been a good while since the last update to my Morphtronics, and with this deck I actually rebuilt Morphtronics from scratch, uh, because my last Morphtronic deck actually went to a friend, he's not a big, big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, but the one deck he is a fan of is Morphtronics, just for all the uh, silly shenanigans that the deck can do with the monster swarming, uh, and the biggest thing I used to like about the deck is that it could get uh, shooting Quasar Dragon out, but sadly with links it's kind of more difficult to do it now but not impossible especially since you can still go into some link plays and it, with enough setup you could get potentially quasar out but let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile because nonetheless if you can't get quasar out morphtronics are still a very very fun deck to play okay so i play three morphtronic cell phone he is the main uh card of the deck a lot of the plays focus around him and if you don't know about Morphtronics, they have different abilities and effects um, based on if they're in attack mode or defense. So with Selfon, when he's in attack mode, once per turn with this, while this card's face up on the field, you can roll a dice. And whatever it lands on, you excavate the top cards of your deck until you reveal a Morphtronic monster. And then you can special summon that card to your field. So it's cool because if you get another Selfon, then you can roll um, the dice again and keep going from there. So he's basically your potential for Field Swarm with the deck as a whole, meaning you can get out a lot of monsters, and with if they're Earth, meaning you can get out Mrs. Radiant, or do other Link Summon plays, and just have Link Arrows that you can work with to get some other special summons going out on the field, because the biggest thing is working with the tuners to get Synchro Monsters out on the field that can really help out the Morphtronic deck. And I also run three Morphtronic Boomboxin. Uh, we're going to go through the non-tuners first and then get to the tuners. While in attack mode, this card can attack twice during the battle phase. And while in defense, once per turn, when a face-up Morphtronic monster you control is selected for an attack, you can negate the attack. So if you bump this card up with uh, Morphtronic Radeon uh, for its attack, we'll get to that later, you can hit twice for some pretty big numbers. A great um, search off of Selfon as well because it's an Earth, meaning if you get both of them on the field, uh, very easily. You have a Mrs. Radiant summon as well with its uh, search back effect. You can put it one of them in your hand if you want. But the two link arrows uh, for two additional extra deck monsters help with your special summon plays. Um, I didn't mention Selfon's uh, defense effect, uh, mostly because I always try to go for the attack position play. The defense one lets you check the top cards of your deck to see which Morphtronics you have on the way, but you go through the deck so much shuffling that the defense effect is kind of redundant. You always want to use the attack mode self on effect to special summon. Uh, but Boomboxin, definitely a very, very good target to go off of. And I also run two Morphtronics Slingin'. Um, Slingin' didn't really used to be as big of a card in the deck since the big play was um, you know synchro summoning and just extra deck spamming but now with the main play still being Morphtronics being able to get out very fast you can use Slingin's attack position effect to tribute one Morphtronic you accept for Slingin to destroy one card on the field taking care of pesky cards your opponent controls and in defense if it would be destroyed you can destroy another Morphtronic but once again another preferable uh, attack position effect um, just for the pop effect that you can get rid of for your opponent's cards. Um, for each card, um, definitely uh, Boomboxin has the most versatile attack and defense, but for Slingin and Selfon, definitely prefer the attack position effects. But for Radeon, it honestly depends, because Radeon, while on attack, gives all your Morphtronics, you control 800 attack, including itself, putting it at 1800, and while on defense, it raises the defense by 1000, putting defense at 1900. So depending on if you're playing defensively or offensively, Radeon definitely does come in handy. And then moving on to the tuners that I run, I run two Morphtronic Scopin. Now this is a card, well, attack position, once per turn, I can special summon one level four or lower, uh, one level four, not lower, it has to be a level four, from your hand and destroy it during the end phase. So you can grab uh, basically Radeon, Slingin, or Boomboxin and special summon it to the field for a level seven synchro play. So Moonlit Rose or Black Rose are my preferred targets with this card. You can even make Proxy Dragon if you want for an additional link. Uh, option you have so many uh, opportunities with this card to make very good plays and the defense effect is while well, in defense it's a level four meaning you have even some other synchro options depending on what you want to use you can even go for like a level five if you have this in defense special summoned off of the uh, cell phone or if you want to keep it in attack go for a level four with the cell phone depending on if you grab it with cell phone obviously also 
And I also have one Morphtronic Remotin. Now I like Remotin for its search abilities. I might actually bump this card up to two and drop Scopin to one, just because you have options to search out Scopin, while Remotin kind of just has those search options available to you. So it's kind of a back and forth between the two that I'm kind of on the fence about. But uh, my favorite tuner in the deck definitely has to be Morphtronic Smartphone. Uh, it cannot be normal summoned or set. It must first be special summoned from your hand by banishing one Morphtronic from your graveyard. And while in attack position once per turn, you can roll a six-sided dice and basically excavate the top cards of your deck and add one Morphtronic card from your hand and shuffle the rest back into the deck. It says Morphtronic card, which is what I think is very, very good about uh, Smartphone. Since it's an add effect, you can grab uh, Morphtronic Repair Unit, Accelerator, Map, um, basically any of those search options as well as monsters and add them to your hand. Repair Unit and Map especially really, really help out um, for... Um, your own plays a repair unit for the pop effect and the draw effect help for cycling. Smartphone just gives you those options that really, really help with the deck. And the defense effect is um, look at that many cards on top of your deck and place them on the top or the bottom of the deck in any order. So once again, in defense, it's kind of like a setup play. I do prefer the attack position with Smartphone as well. And most of the time, I search the Smartphone since Cell Phone Special is ignoring the summoning condition. And then I can go for a level 2 Synchro play, or they're both Earths, the Mrs. Radiant play with the two of them. But always remember to use their effects first before you go for uh, any of your special summons. And also three Morphtronic Lantron to finish off. Lantron has a very nice um, attack position. Any effect damage you would take from an opponent's card effect is inflicted to your opponent instead. When I played against some Trick Stars and playtesting, that was crazy because I would just normal summon it. And then um, basically they couldn't do their plays. They would just let me play how I wanted to. And while on defense, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you take no battle damage this turn. So another good just sit on card effect. So if I open up with this card, it's not the end of the world. But most of the time, I like to use him as the machine duplication. Uh, target and get all of him out of the deck and not draw into him or at least if that's not the case at least search him off of cell phone or smartphone and not have to draw him and that's it for the monsters a very big monster count but i love pure morphtronics since they all work so well together non-morphtronics tend to slow down the deck since those are the ones i usually reveal off of smartphone and cell phone but moving on to the spells, I run three Morphtronic Repair Unit. Uh, this card, you send one Morphtronic monster from your hand to the graveyard. Select one in your graveyard, special summon the selected monster and equip it with this card. Um, it can't change its battle position, and when this card is removed from the field, destroy the equipped monster. But with this card, you can basically uh, special summon back your cell phone or smartphone's been special summon, special summon it back, and then just get your search off, which then makes up for the whole send effect of a Morphtronic. And you can even send the smartphone or the cell phone from your hand to the graveyard well in most cases because smartphone has to be special summon the cell phone uh, from your hand to the graveyard as long as you have another morphtronic target in the graveyard you're able to special summon the cell phone that you sent and also three morphtronic accelerator you return one morphtronic card from your hand to the deck to destroy one card of the field then draw a card so it's a pop effect for your opponent and then a draw so it makes up for this card and uh, basically in equal exchange since you're basically taking um you know, one of your opponent's cards out as well. And searchable off the smartphone too. You gotta remember that with these Morphtronic cards. And then I also run three Morphtronic map. Each time a Morphtronic battle position is changed, you place one Morph counter on this card. All Morphtronic monsters gain 300 attack for each Morph counter on this card. And when it's destroyed on the field and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Morphtronic from your graveyard. So I really like it for the special summon effect. Really makes my opponent want to keep this card around otherwise. But the bump ups with Radeon come especially well because I can hit some pretty strong uh, Radeon and Boomboxin monsters on the field alone and not even have to go into the extra deck. And lastly, three junk box. Now, it's not a Morphtronic card in name, so you can't search it, but still very, very good. You special summon one level four lower Morphtronic in your graveyard, destroyed during the end phase. Effects not negated, it's just destroyed. Make use of it. Um, that's why I really like this. It's basically an additional monster reborn for the deck for Morphtronics. And also two machine dupes. I found this card going back and forth between junk box and whatnot, but. Um, Cell phone searches enough, which is what I found. Two of this plenty in the deck, um, leaving the rest of the searches to cell phone and smartphone. And also two desynchro. This is for draw uh, basis power with formula synchron, basically getting it out and then being able to go out into it and then desynchroing back into cell phone and smartphone to reuse their effects. Plus one reasoning because all the different levels make your opponent guess if they can grab the right one or not. 
Uh, one for one, grab Salphon as fast as you can. And also one Foolish Burial, so you grab him in the graveyard faster and then use with the Junk Box. And one Soul Charge and one Monster Reborn, special summon options. These two also help with the Quasar play. If you make Formula, gets destroyed, and you have some other Synchros in the graveyard, get those out, and then make a quick Synchro play for the last Synchro you need for Quasar. And basically it's the easiest way to make it with these two cards. And that's it for the main deck. We'll move on to the extra. I run the one formula Synchron. I used to run three when the you know extra monster zone wasn't a thing. Just because you can make them so much faster and draw through your deck much faster as well. But the one is fine now because most of the time it's in the graveyard. Like I said, monster reborn target, soul charge uh, reborn target. And those are the plays you'll go for. From summoning it to the field and then using the last two of your either link arrows from Mrs. Radiant to get the last two Synchros and then go for a Quasar. And I have one old entity half store and one um, Balmung in the deck. Now I couldn't, I don't have um, Shooting Star around anymore. I think I sold my only copy. So I would take out the one Balmung for a Shooting Star uh, option off of the Quasar and just keep the one Haster in here. I like it so you can have options for a level 6, 4, and 2 synchro play or a 5, 5, 2 just to have a level 4 in the deck. And for level 5, it's Naturia Beast. Uh, Hyper Librarian and Chambara. I just like the Beast target because it stops spells, so always good to have with the Earth Monsters you run. Chambara for OTK potential, and if you can make Librarian work with that additional arrow, it definitely does help to have it on the field with Quasar. So you don't use your whole hand and then fail in a Quasar play. You still have some draws to go off of. And then one Stardust Charge Warrior for that level 6 draw option as well. And then for the Scoping level 7, summons Black Rose and Moonlight Dragon. Moonlit Dragon. And the big guy himself, Shooting Quasar. Uh, in the old deck, I used to run two of this just because it was quite possible to make it happen. But sadly, uh, Link format now, so had to reduce the numbers. And for the Lone Exceed monster, Princess Sprite, Smartphone, and Cellphone, if I need that option play, I run this card. And for the Link Monsters, I run two Mrs. Radiant. It's your main Link Monster and the easiest one you can go into with Smart Fawn, Cell Fawn, and Boom Boxing being a thing. And the one Akashic also comes in handy at times, and the Decode Talker for bigger Link plays. But yeah, that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Twig out.